Hello, this is Ed Chapman, and this video cast is going to explore the structure and function of ribosomes, which are the protein factories for cells. Structurally, ribosomes are very small. They look a lot like beads under the microscope, and they are actually built from two subunits. Uh, ribosomes are assembled from a small subunit and a large subunit, which combine to build a whole ribosome. And when both parts are together, the ribosome can do its job. Uh, ribosomes are actually made inside the nucleus. If you remember, the nucleolus is where ribosomes are produced. Okay, the function of ribosomes is to build proteins, and they do this by converting genetic code into a sequence of amino acids. So literally, ribosomes are building polymers called proteins from amino acid monomers. Uh, ribosomes do all their work in the cytoplasm of cells, and all cells, from prokaryotes to eukaryotes, have ribosomes. Here's a transmission electron microscope of some actual ribosomes. They're actually very, very small to um, photograph. They're very tiny little things. Uh, you can see each one of these little bead-like structures is a ribosome. So there's one here, there's one here, and these ribosomes are all held together because they're reading the same piece of genetic code, which I'm going to talk about next. Okay, now the ribosomes can be free-floating in the cytoplasm of the cell, or they can be attached to another cell structure called the endoplasmic reticulum. And when the endoplasmic reticulum has ribosomes attached, it's called the rough ER. But we'll talk about that in the next video cast. Uh, ribosomes are, remember, protein factories, so we need to see how that works. If you remember, proteins are built from amino acid monomers. So up here we have all these different shapes. Each one of these shapes represents a different amino acid. So we have hexagons and circles and triangles. So we have three different kinds of amino acids. And ribosomes are protein factories. What they're going to do is they're going to take in these amino acids and hook them together with peptide bonds to output or to make a polypeptide or a protein. So let me animate this and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so the amino acids are going to, or first of all, this ribosome is going to get some genetic code from the nucleus. And this green bar here with the letters in it represents genetic code. It's actually RNA. All right. So this RNA code is what's going to program the ribosome to make a certain amino acid, excuse me, a certain protein. All right. So the genetic code goes into the ribosome. The ribosome absorbs the amino acids and then puts them together in exactly the right order to produce what we call a protein. All right. So this this structure here is made up of a chain of amino acids, and it is a protein. Okay, another name for a protein would be a polypeptide. Okay, and they're called polypeptides because the amino acids are joined together by dehydration synthesis by what we call peptide bonds. Okay, so this structure here, this whole thing, is a polypeptide, and it is what ribosomes build. All right, we'll stop there. Thanks for listening.